kita ka sir okay so good morning everyone thank you for uh, thank you for joining this Oh, sorry about that. So, so thank you for joining this webinar. I mean, this training, so training workshop. So, in behalf of, um, I'm very happy. I would like to thank um, CTU uh, Mountain Campus and CTU Naga, also CTU Main, for having me here today. Now, ako ang gitoyo, no? Ang on ako ang ako ang camera just uh, to. To show ang akong background today, so I'm currently here in San Remeo conducting this webinar. So I am not from Cebu, I am from Negros. But the thing is, one thing that I would like to highlight is that so long as kita nga naasa information technology or naasa IT industry, so long uh, naatay computer or naatay internet or bisan naatay computer or naatay skills, pwede kita manarbaho po dito mangita og ways to, to earn an income so that is one thing i would like to highlight and web design is a skill wherein if we are able to learn web design taghan gayud tag opportunities nga manlap so our second day is all about um is all about uh css so we'll be discussing about css now also um let me just so we will be discussing CSS for our second for our second um, day, and uh, next week we'll be discussing Bootstrap. And the following week we'll be having web deployment. So this is actually patterned. Uh, you will be able to create web a web page. You will be able to design a web page. You will be able to apply uh, design, and pwede mo mag deploy. So mo nang atong target. So atong target is. Uh, in a way, nga uh, kita tanan, uh, we'll be learning. Um, we'll be learning uh, not just on saon pag create, on saon pag design, but we will be learning on saon pag deploy. So that is the most important part, no? Okay. Uh, from time to time, we create, we create something na dili na to ma deploy. So what is the purpose kung dili nato ma deploy? So wala dili siya ma dili siya once dili siya ma deploy once dili siya magamit ang mahitabuan na is ang ato ang gihimo is nara dito sa computer so nara naka save ra and what we are targeting is that we will be able to create something that will be available online so i already uh, prepared something na we can host our our uh, project so and this is a four part uh, training workshop so if you miss one day then it will be very hard to cope up unless you have foundation already. So, so our topic for today is all about CSS. What is CSS? And um, all about, so it's all about an introduction to CSS. What is cascading style sheet and a glimpse to SCSS. So also before we start, I would like to remind our participants to please turn off your um, uh, microphone if you don't have questions of you if you're not asking something that is to avoid um, unnecessary noise and also I recommend that if you have questions please raise your there is a way here uh, to ask questions so please ask questions and um, uh, also when I check the when I check the, uh, what do you call this? When I check the uh, recommendation for last week's event. So, atong last week, I'm happy na nahuman yun na to, no? And, um, nai mga suggestions. So, for the next week, can you please mute? Barkyo, can you please mute? I cannot mute. I cannot post, put it to mute. So, can you please mute? So, again, to continue. So, just an update, we have uh, completed our first week and recommendation for our first week is that um, for the succeeding meetings or the succeeding trainings, please wear proper attire. So it's not really uh, mag-uniform mag or mag 
mag formal so ang ako ara is that you wear proper attire nga uh, t-shirt ba na or unsa nga please avoid wearing uh, mga revealing clothes and also please uh, avoid showing in the camera naked um, to yung mga naka walay top so we need to avoid that kinana yung mga ning suggest ana so and also one thing i would like to discuss with the recommendation is that it was stated there to add more activity so i would like to clear things out we only have two hours and we cannot have activity inside the two hours so our two hours will be purely discussion i will be showing samples and your activity will be for the activity that i have provided to you so we will be learning like that because we are not we are in a different form or different setup we are not in a classroom setup so this is actually a challenge okay well laboratory but um, I know na given the fact that you already are graduating students and um, you have already an idea uh, about the online learning, so you will be able to find a way to complete your activity. So also, I would like to, to highlight um, one person uh, who submitted the activity first. Uh, this is actually... So um, he submitted earlier the earliest to submit coronel so he is from naga so i would like to highlight that because i am checking your activity from time to time so thank you for submitting there actually he submitted the activity in the afternoon so after the event he submitted right away so and i i appreciate that also so to continue just an introduction to those who doesn't know me so I am Key Martin Girocero. I currently work a, as a full-time senior .NET developer. So I am a systems engineer focused with .NET technology. So if you already have programming, to cut it short, the languages I, I, um, I master is C Sharp and VB, VB.NET. So that's in desktop and in web. So I, I currently work as part-time instructor in CTU San Fernando and hopefully CTU Naga to next time. So I don't know. So and um, I also work as a freelance software. Hello, sir. Apila pong mountain. Ay, yes, sir. Mountain Campo, sir. So <laughs> so uh and, oh part so, and a freelance um I am a freelance software developer, so and a freelance web designer. So, I have um, so I work freelance. So, I have multi. I have multiple jobs, and how is it possible? Because I am just working from home. So, all of those jobs I work from home. So I, I have different employers right now, especially with my freelance. I have one project right now in Minglanilia and I have one project in Iloilo and another coming in Car Car. So those are just projects that I work uh, I work from home. So I work I work from those projects uh, after my full time work as a senior .NET developer. So I support a company in the US. And one thing that I want you to to look forward. So I am building my team for software development. So hopefully I can add. I can add someone from this class to my team. So, so before we start, let us understand this phrase from Pablo Picasso. I am always doing that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. So I, I can actually, um, when, when I think about this message, I have a lot of reflection for this. I am do I am always doing which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. So looking for looking back when I was still a student, sa ang time no, sa time na ko it's Windows XP and ang ratio sa computer sa laboratory, you know, I, I graduated from a um, community college. So daily siya or state college nga magklase mi ilalom sa manga. So it's already a privilege today ngang in New Hong Kong is you have laboratory, you have internet, you have mobile phone. So when I was studying programming, I was studying from books. So it's like 
you spend your time to the library and reading everything in the books and you try to code, try to learn everything. So now it's a good thing that there is already a webinar, there's already online training, there's a lot of resources. So if the old guys, so Kras na ko sa so, yung mga karaan na cut on o programming o web design o uban pa gamit ang old technology. Why can't you? So your focus should be you need to practice. So learn by doing. So I am always doing which I cannot do. So I don't know this. I need to find materials on how to do this and I need to explore. I need to review. So when you actually think about this, no? material so and so I learned most of I can say when I when I graduated dili good kayo kanang pa kumpak ako ang nakuha with web design with programming because I understand nga ang amo ang resources was scarce but I really wanted to learn programming and I really wanted to to explore um this field so what I did was I tried to to learn more by by doing so if i have time uh my explore course if i have time i will do this and i will do that until such time uh, i was given an, an an opportunity to work as a junior software developer and the rest is history so that's the same thing that i want you to learn have the enthusiasm have the kagustuhan nga mo learn so and practice by doing and everything will follow <clears throat> so let's review so what have we discussed last week so we have discussed how create how to create web pages so from the participants here i'll be asking so carl galolo what have you learned last week Hola, si Carl, no? How about Bing, Alison? What have you learned last week? How to create web pages. How to create web pages. So thank you for that, Bing. No? So we created web pages last week. So... Um, Barkyo, Barkyo, can you tell me what um, what uh, can you tell me some examples of the tags that we have used last week? Alferes, Alferes Ponil, sir. Can you tell me what, what were the tags that we used last week? Like answer the L I then the U U L U L oh, U which is underlined. So thank you. Oh, yes, sir. How about uh Sabroso? What have you learned last week? Sabroso Jesaan. Okay, so pasig ang uban dere no um kanang for the sake kaba ba attendance ba ning ning kuan ba so actually one of the one of the one of the problems if we are given something for free is that since it since it's given for us for free ning ta sigira di dere to na kuan nang free ra bitaw training bitaw so dere ta mino mahala ba sa mga attendance so so actually I am doing this uh, I am sharing my knowledge no kay para just to just to to add a skill in your resume ba kay example this is to be honest no after after your graduation mga apply mo trabaho interviewon mo tanon mo uh, since all are graduating students naman other eh, mga apply mo trabaho 2 years mo wala klase so online class mo last sem the previous sem and this sem pumutanon mo what have you learned what skills have you acquired so wala 
sir, nag-online job niya na. So, so di ba? So, this is one thing, no? If you actually just focus, the market for web design right now is very big. Daghan kay hiring sa... So, this is, this is, I have been asking myself, no? Uh, prior to being a senior .NET developer, I work as an IT manager and I, I was part of the hiring process for different establishments. So, daghan o ka ng mga companies nga ako yung hire para nila. So, mga itamig empleyado. So, they are mga, naidaghag mga hiring. And, mayingon dyan ko nga daghan dyan hiring sa IT. Daghan, especially sa web. Everything goes web na. So, mga nang pangutana, no? Kung daghan kay hiring sa IT, nga nung sigig hiring, nga nung sigig hiring, nga nung dutay ra, nga nung pipila ra, ang makuha. Nga nung dili, ma-fill up ang gap. If you check job street, daghan kayo o ipang hire, no? Daghan kayo. So, kadaghan mag-graduate, pila ka buk, kuan, pila ka buk, graduating students, may nga kaguro kada year siguro na yung mga gamay ra ng 20 mil ka-graduate siguro. But even with those numbers, why is it nga dili ma-fill ang hiring process? Nga nung sigig hiring, nga nung sigig hiring, nga daghan man ta kaya graduate sa IT. The re one of the reason is that during interviews, when I ask people, when I ask applicants, what is this and that, dili katubag, walay knowledge, walay basic foundation. So, I am teaching you this so that you will add a skill. And CSS and web design is a very foundational skill na kinangla ninyo if you actually want to focus with IT. So, this is not your traditional nga sa skwilahan nga we will be fa we will be following syllabus, we will not be following that. So, we will be following only some guides on what we will be doing. But this is focused on how is it done and basically this is focused akong experience with creating web projects, how I do it, how how I how I usually do it. E dili na tatong kwan, I will not focus with unsay mga himon sa skwilahan because you know, ang skwilahan they have their own guidelines but I will be teaching you how I do it, how we do it with my team. Para dili na ta mo discuss atong wala gigamit. Mo discuss atong gigamit o unsaan pagpadali. So, I encourage everyone to listen, take down notes and if I have questions, since you are just listening and taking down notes, please answer. So we have discussed web, um, the basic uh, web pages, creating website last last week. So it's basically web pages and web tags. So can anyone tell me what are the parts of an HTML? Anyone? There's only two parts. Body and Heading and body. Head and body. Head and body. Okay. Inside HTML, there is head. And inside, and inside uh, there is head and body. So where do you put title? Head. Inside the uh, head, sir. Head, sir. Head, sir. Correct. So, um, excuse me. So we have head and we have body. So basically, we will be focusing more with we will be focusing more with kwan no kanang sani uh applying design. That is our target for this week. So, moving forward, we will be um, adding styles to your web pages. So basically, last week, ipakreate mo sa inyong activity o web pages na walay design. Because our activity today will involve designing those web pages. So, adding styles to your web pages. So there are different ways on how to add styles to your web pages. So HTML is quite limited when it comes to presentation of web page. So it was originally designed as a simple way of presenting information. So when it was created, it was not really intended for it was not really intended for um, website. So ang iharang purpose yun, mura ra siyag text file ba nga? We show something. Ang pinaka purpose ato is to actually create a text file 
which is not editable in the first glance. Ang maka-edit rato ang naray knowledge on how to open it up. Unlike text file nga, anytime may edit nimo. So, ang pinaka-purpose sa ito sa HTML is to have a text information for presentation purposes only. But, by 1996, CSS cascading style sheets was introduced, and the World Wide Web changed. So, with CSS, it becomes very easy to specify the things like size and the typeface and the fonts. Because the question is, when it was created, iba your information. But unlike text files, unlike Word, tili ni mo pwede ma-edit niya something ng mga information. So With CSS, it becomes very easy to specify things. Talit na kayo dito ang background, etc. So, <clears throat> adding styles to HTML elements. So, style information can either be attached as a simple, I mean, as a separate document or embedded in HTML document itself. Um, let me just... Ang saron? Ah, sorry about that. Na distract ko sa noise. So, so um, style information can either be attached as a separate document or embedded in the HTML document itself. Uh, there are three methods of implementing styling information to an HTML document. The first one is inline styles. So using the style attribute in HTML tag. The second one is embedded style using the style um, element in the head section of the document. The third one is external style sheet. So using the link element pointing to an external CSS file. So what's the style? So our first discussion will be about inline style. So um, we will be using style attributes. So inline styles, inline styles are used to apply unique style rules to an in, to, to an element by putting CSS rules directly into the start tag. So it can be attached to an element using the style attribute. So I will be stopping the share now. I will share my whole screen para mas nindot na to. So share. So can you confirm if you can see my screen now? Can you can you confirm if makita niyo ang screen? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay, tara sir. Okay, so you're yes, seeing the desktop, di ba? Yes. Yes sir. Okay. So now, <clears throat> daghan ka styles no ang HTML. We will not be touching all styles because we only have two hours. But I will. Uh, but I have provided you links no sa ato ang classroom. If you actually check your Google Classroom, it's in there. Narito ang mga links. Narito yung mga HTML tags, and etc. So, and I will be providing you the same thing with HTML styles. In this way, you can actually think, no? On sound na ko ni, if I want to have it color red, like this and like that. So, daghan nito ways to add. So, the style attribute includes a series of CSS properties and value pairs. Each property value pair is separated by a semicolon. So, again, Since um, if you're familiar with C sharp and Java, it ends with semicolon, so that is an end to a statement. So unlike unlike VB, I don't. Anyone familiar with PHP? Um, does it end with semicolon? Yes, sir. PHP also ends with semicolon. Yes, sir. Oh, so I, sorry about that. No, I am not. Though, though I am a programmer, no, but I, I, I cannot go on. I cannot. Dili tanan language. Ako ang ako ang na master. I am focused with that net. So, pang C sharp pero C sharp o VB. So, and um, so it ends with semicolon. So, just as you would write to an embedded or external style sheet. But it needs to be all in one line, no break after the semicolon. So again, if it's in line, it should be one line statement. 
because what happens if that if if you press enter if the line breaks mingo na siya html cannot actually conjoin or cannot connect or cannot create a tag if it breaks so it should be one straight line so example so here we have added h1 color red font size 30 and the heading this is heading and p style um the paragraph with a style color green font size 18 and the paragraph this is a paragraph and the div so now since i have shared my screen i have sa i have saved some of your outputs and i will be selecting one output here so we'll just be selecting output huh? this is for the sake of this is for the sake of kanang learning so if ma pick na ko yung output so this is not ano ang atuani this is just for para ma learn ta how to design so example i have opened this this is from city unaga algarbe so when i open this so this is her site so this is the information of algarbe and so when you click my page my school so it actually shows like this now we will try to apply the signs so uh, please avoid having those comments no because so this is for the sake of learning and siya may pinakauna dere so siya na pick up so the html i will open it edit with notepad plus plus now this is actually her um uh html so she created this so kung inyo hang lang taon only ang output niya so how about i would like to put the image to center so where is the image here the image this one so how do i create a style so I just space style, type style, style. So this is using Notepad++. Katong wala naka attend last, last, um, last week, I have posted the video in YouTube. So nasa ako ang YouTube channel. So pwede nyo malantaw dito. Style, align, center. So we will be putting alignment. So let's try to check if mo align. No? Wala siya ning align. So, text that align. Ano naman siya? So there's a problem no about the width. There you go. So the alignment, one thing that we have learned today, the alignment doesn't work with the image. So the right approach for this one should be, this should be inside a div. We will style the div. The, we will have this div. And we will apply div style, text that alignment. Text align center. 
and we will be removing this. So hopefully this works now, but yeah, see it works. So the main reason why it's not having or the picture is not centered because the image will not take the text align center. Now we will have here style for the image. We'll have here a uh, width. Um, so here you can actually declare the width as one hundred as in in percentage. So if you say one hundred percent, whichever the size of, say example, if this is what this if this is the size of your browser and you have it bigger like that. So whatever the max size of your browser that is taking 100%. So if you say that it's 75%, so it will go down. So now if we will use 50px and refresh, that is the size of 50px. So what I actually do, oh, this is my experience when I'm designing. I have it raw like that. And I have example, I want to adjust the size. I just inspect element. So how do you inspect elements? So right click inspect so when you're designing you just select the object that you want to design so the, here the element style <clears throat> so width is 50px 50px is just small for me so how about i just go press the uh, arrow up it will go up and i will check okay so now the image is like that it's bigger or how about i change it to 50 percent so 50 percent so it's it's big, it's big. So it's 50% of the screen. So I will I will set it to 25%. So now 25%, if it's set to 25% and, and I change the the width, you see? Diba? If I if I have the picture, I mean if I have the browser smaller, if I use percentage, it will compute automatically the percent of the browser or the screen size. Do you understand the difference between PX and percentage? Hello? So if you're using PX, no, you're, you're saying that it's 300 PX, so it's static. But if you're saying, if you're declaring it percentage, if you are trying to browse it with smaller or bigger browsers, Automatic na siya mo dako or automatic na siya mo gamay. So, okay. So now, another another um, design is border radius. This is. I will have it 50%. You see, the one in Lingin just so border reduce is a design that I I actually use a lot. Ang purpose aning border reduce is that para na ay siya soft edge sa kilid. So have, we'll have it like that. The border reduce set to 10, and we will have the um, what you call this shadow border the shadow. back shadow so you can actually apply shadow if you actually just focus um there is a shadow smooth lang na siya gamay na siya shadow sa kilid which will actually highlight the page so if you will just back shadow dili siya mo apply no box the shadow then EX. Invalid property value. So there is something with here in this browser. So actually, and, and after I and after I and after I apply the the element style here in in inspect element, I just copy it and I put it here. So so more ito ang iyang kwano so. If I use 25% for the, 
if I use 25% for the width <clears throat> and I use border radius to 10%, mauto iyahang output. So I will just copy this and paste it here. So again, it's one single line and you will have a semicolon to indicate that it, it has already, um, it is the end of the line. So now we will have um, border dash color yellow. So for colors, each I mean CSS, CSS three, and the latest CSS right now will actually um, will actually allow RGB colors or the word color itself. So if we refresh, so nanay border color and border dash with so five px. Why is it not showing? So there might be another things inheriting here. So again, no, uh, with web designing, not everything can be added in one go. But this is a series of trial and error. But we will be focusing here for now. Now the first web page, I will have it as I, I will have it style also. Since this is H1, I will just copy this text align center. And center na siya. I will have four color. Color red. So the color changed to red already. Now body, I will have a background color. Background color. Light blue. Blue. So if I refresh it, not blue na siya. And I, I will check na. Okay, this is sakit sa mata, no? So, I will just inspect element and check the color. Click here. So, I will replace it with another color. Alice blue. Or you can actually put an image, display an image. So, since babae man siya, we will have something pink. And dili sakit sa mata, no? Di man ha? So one thing when you're designing is that you should design uh, if it's sakit ba sa mata or dili ba sakit sa mata. So we will be using lavender blush. So we just replaced it blue with lavender blush. So that's what I do from time to time. So, but this is old school. I, I don't really do inline anymore. We will be doing a lot of things. So now here, we will be we will be putting this on top so we will have it here and the text align is center so so another is about now we will have the style font weight Font family bold. I know font family is font weight. So it became bold already. Font family. Font family is Tahoma. So it changed. Now, if you're having a font family na more than more than two words, you actually need to have a single quote to add it. Font family and or a quote. Unsana. So We'll have is also font family Tahoma will just copy it. 
So that is actually using inline styles. You see, if we put here margin or center, padding 10px. So this is a series of tests. So we'll have example margin dash right 5px. So, kailangan mo siyang margin. So, ano na yung margin, di ba? So, this is one thing on how you actually design your your web pages. So, that is using inline. So, you actually declare all your styles inside the web page. So, that is using inline styles. So, that's our example. So you can actually have your designs here and for for other designs since we cannot actually um we cannot actually discuss everything here today this is just a glimpse on what can be done using inline now i have here html uh, cheat sheets for your designs so here in classroom also no i would like to to remind the others na wala pa nakasood sa atong Google Classroom. You join na sa atong Classroom and you upload where, with uh, your activities. But the thing is, you need CTU, CTU account to join the Classroom. So, so this is HTML cheat sheet that I've been doing or I've been using. So you can actually have color pickers here. You can add design. So I have provided this uh, classroom, none of this classroom. So you can use this. And you can also add other tags. Then you magamit. There are characters. How to use characters? You can embed this. So hopefully next week, if we can discuss Bootstrap easily, I will introduce Font Awesome. Uh, on sound pagamit sa Font Awesome. Now here we have HTML cheat sheets. So I have added a lot of information here. So if you take time, you can actually just um, go to this Google Classroom. I will. I will uh, get the class code. So, um, copy invite link. And here in chat, I will paste. So, that is the classroom. So, Lantawa sa yung chat, you can join using CTO email. Okay. Now, going back. So, this is the website or this is the web page already of. Um, Rishi, si pangalan niya, Milfer Algerbi. So now, di ba na kwanja o bold na siya mga information. So we can actually have the font size or the width. Example lang atong gamiton is just eighty percent. So meaning text align is center. So meaning everything within the body will be centered. And ang atong alignment is, see, nahimo siya center tanan. And 80% ra, wala niya gigamit ang other part. So that is the main reason why we don't really consult. Or we can have it center like that, or we can have um, 80% as the width, margin right, margin left, is 10%, margin right is another 10%. So there will be problems with using margins no, as, as percentage. So here, 
this is the whole 100 percent but instead of having it whole 100 percent we set the body to 80 percent and then we have margins of 20 percent so that when we have it go up and that so pwede to maset now there is a problem why is it nga ang picture niya so everything actually resizes but ang picture niya wala ga resize let's check why because it's set to percentage so it's percentage of the whole screen so the rest does not have percentage so meaning kung scroll up scroll down ko ang size ng picture will be the same but if i change the size of the browser see the picture actually changes but the text is still the same ang font size is still the same so if you are trying to build a responsive site this this will not pass a responsive site so unsa ng responsive site responsive sites are sites na will actually work with changing background so this is website that i have created before no so we will we will check so this is for growing and you will see how it's done or how it's made so this is actually html or see this is only html sorry the render may be slow because i have slow internet or not that fast internet so and if you right click here and if you inspect and if you actually toggle to the device this is actually set to actually fit an iphone 6 or any other device so that is actually called responsive designing so if you scroll down ang navigation matos babaw if you scroll up on navigation matos obos and this is only using html and css and javascript so this does not involve programming so if you actually inspect view page source this ang mga makita ni modere argina siya it's html css so there are a lot of things na pwede nyo himuo no with css and html so now we will be moving forward so after using so unsa my problem if we use style sheets inside the element so it's okay if we use style sheet but the problem is unsa na problema we have this and we have that sige tag copy and paste diba so it's it's actually very tiring and it's time consuming kada element ni mabutangan ni mo o design so that's why we'll be talking about embedded style sheets so embedded or internal so naman ni shake ano actually i use internal as the word because if it's internal it's within and external is the opposite so but for the right term it's embedded style sheets so embedded is within the sheet so embedded style sheets are defined in the head so inside the head you will declare your design so the following samples demonstrates how you how rules are embedded inside a web page so example so in the head you have style body yellow green so here we will have inside the head so head so now head we will add title title is my web page my website so here is the title and now inside the head we will have style so style So again, there will be an opening tag and a closing tag. Backslash is the indication that it is closing this tag. Now, we have body. So body, we will have body. And so this is something that I would like to discuss to you now. If we just get this, copy this, everything, and put it inside the body so it will become body style 
So we will remove the style and we will refresh this. So the style is still retained. So reload na to. So the style is still retained because it's inside body. Now, here we will have that. This is something na you need, I want you to focus. So if I want to have that, and so if, if I actually add that, meaning I'm saying that this is this is a class. I mean, this is a style that will only be applied if it is being used. Because for example, I have A. If I have A, and I will put the style of A as text align color red, like that. So if I will have that style or color um, center, so if I remove this, Oh, sorry. If I remove this style font, Tahoma. So, if nakaingon ana rako, and I will remove this style. So I will remove that margin. I want you to listen and understand sa part aniya. So, this is very critical and most of the new IT hires nga um, encounter na ko doesn't understand that really. If you refresh that, so inyo makita sa babaw, it's the same thing because when you right click inspect, <clears throat> when you select this, there is A. Lantaw ni mo. There is A. So this is one way of reading the, the HTML element. So there is A style. So meaning A style and there is font with font weight bold and tahoma. So meaning it's applied to all anchor tags. Pag walay that. So tanan nga tanan nga elements nga starts with A, not starts with A. Tanan nga A element or tanan nga A tag will have these attributes: font weight bold, font ta font family tahoma. So now on the Right side there is Algarve HTML. So meaning it's inside it's H, it's inside Algarve HTML line 11. So if you go here line 11 so it's 11. So line 11. So if you if you know how to read the inspect element you will actually see line 11. See? So it's here line 11 and here a web link this is not but now let us try to add that a dash that a dash test now that a dash test let's add so there is no space here we'll add space margin dash left or dash right rather is 10 px so now this is a class already a that test you can call it inside inside the tag so you can call it as a class in class you can paste a test so getting a test monisha si a test and when you refresh this, you see in a nice space, diba? Isn't that amazing? And example, mugbutang ka direct design nga font family or italic font dash weight uh, font that style. Italic. See? So, siya ray na italic. So, meaning, because this has a test, so meaning, if you actually check the, the tag, if you select this, na siya attributes na font weight from A. 
na apod siya ay attribute sa A-test. But these two are both anchor tags. Pero ang usa, A-rang iyahang na-inherit. Wala siya naka-inherit sa um, A-test. So no, I understand that I understand that you have programming so you you already have idea what is inheritance. So sa binisaya pa kabilin. So na ay kini kini siya na inherit niya ang design ani from A test. Kini siya ang design nga na inherit niya ni is from A ra. So since both are anchor tags they will get a design from this. So all anchor tags will have this design. And the A test is only a class because it is identified by the dot in front of it. it will only be applied if you use it as a class. So now here on H1 style, now if we have it, the H1, Actually, you can have it H1, comma, H2, comma, H3. You can have it like that. And atuan yung kopyahon, style, color, red. So meaning, for center, ana. So meaning, we will have the text align center from H1, H2, H3. But if you want just to focus H1, and the color is red, you can do it like that. And example, H2, the color is blue. So if we refresh this, describe myself. So describe myself is H2. It actually got the color blue. So example, if you use personal information as H3, H3, so please no, be mindful with your noise because it's actually distracting. So H3, now H3, we will have the color green. So automatic na na siya, no? So, when we refresh this, so this is H3. If we refresh this, then color green na siya. So meaning, you're handling everything here with the design. And mas mapadali siya kaysa sa sulod ka si Gikag style, si Gikag style. And image, actually, we will have another here, that IMG, IMG style. So meaning I am creating a class image style and I will be getting this. I will be putting this inside. So I will be removing the class. So pag refresh na ko na niya, wala na siya class, nako kay siya. But I will be adding class. So when you're using class, you don't need to add the dot. You just need to copy IMG style. Copy that. that. Same with A dash test. Wala na ni mo appeal ang dot. Kaya ang dot rana with styling is an indication that it is a separate style. So it's refreshed na. Diba? It's easier to design already. So now we have covered two designs. So here the example nga shown sa PowerPoint is that it's using body H1P. Now, but I have exa our example is that you can have separate commas. Example, ang H1, H2, H3 will all be text aligned. So, example, you will be looking. Okay, so, tanan, tanan nag, nag, nag align. On sa may mga nag align dere na ko. So, if I have another, another tag here, if example P, if I want P to be text aligned, I will just comma P text align center so meaning na add na ang p so when i refresh here and tao you, you observe when i click p refresh na center na siya diba because i added p so this is actually creating a more efficient way of design you add everything together with common design so example i want just 
I want H1, H2, H3 ra as text align. So it will be like this. But if I would like to include P sa text align and refresh, it will be like that. So it's easy, di ba? Now, the next part, before we discuss with our last style, we will be discussing what is CSS. So the latest version of CSS now is CSS3. So you should expect that you should expect no uh, when when applying for web designer or if you're applying for an IT field na that has something or IT job that has something to do with design, you will be asked what is CSS? What have you learned about CSS? So CSS stands for cascading style sheets. So ang uban pangutano na ko ano daghan kayo mga tubag nga dili magdadimao but to make it short what what we really wanted you to answer no during the interviews dili maningon nga what is CSS nga unsa sa klase unsa na what we really wanted you to answer is that be direct to the point nga what have you learned about CSS CSS stands for cascading style sheet which is used for design so sample in the latest version right now is CSS3 so CSS external style, style sheets are stored in CSS files. So since we will be creating external links, we will be using or will be creating CSS files. So external style sheets, an external sheet is ideal when the style is applied to many pages. So again, when you have multiple pages, so ang ato ang create dere, we have designed only for one page. But what if we have multiple pages? What if we have five pages? What if we have 500 pages? Yung, ulo, si sir, sobra-sobra ng 500 pages. No. If you have seen one of my projects when I was in Saudi, it actually has around that uh, number of pages because it's already a, kanang mga gitawag nila, mga microservices. It's a combination of systems. You're combining five to ten systems. So, shall we say one one system has different pages? So, agan kaya nasa. So, what will you do if you have that? So, don't tell me you will design per page, di ba? So, it's better if you have a style sheet. So, an external style sheet holds. And also, if example you have five hundred pages, don't tell me if you, you will call all style sheet per page. That way of designing is handled if we have a master page or if we have um, layout that CS HTML. But we will not be discussing that. So, ang atong focus on is designing pages. Ra. So, dili pa manguro mo mag design ng pinintos ka page. No? So, more sa niyatong ko anon. So, an external style sheet holds all the style rules. So, instead of having it, so, unsa my problema. No? So, we will be looking at the problems. Ang problems kung ang design ni mo na asa sulod, you will be having bulky text designs. But kung ang imong design na sa gawas, it will be very easy. So meaning ibutan mo sa head, meaning it will be ang may tabo kung ibutan mo sa head, ang imong sulod is that ninggaan ang imong sulod, ang imong body, but ang imong head ding dako, di ba? So what if you have 300 styles, different styles? Don't tell me everything will be inside the head. So that is also another problem. So the main reason why external links are created to address this, this problem. The first problem with inline, so it, or the, the main problem with inline is that your body becomes bigger. Now, to, to solve this problem, they, cre they created embedded or internal. What is the problem with internal? Your head becomes bigger. You, your body becomes lighter. Your head becomes bigger. And now, to address both problems, we have external style sheets. So, an external style sheet is ideal when the style is applied to too many, uh, too many pages. So an external style sheet holds all the style rules in separate document that you can link from any HTML document in your site. So you can have a separate document in your page or you can have another document from another site. 
So external style sheets are the most flexible because it can uh, because with an external style sheet rule, you can change the look of the website by updating just one file. See, if you have 500 pages and you want to design, you want to change the design of a button. Don't tell me you will change the you will change the pages. Or you will change um, the style sheet of 500 pages. You will just change the external file. <clears throat> so this is this is the good thing, no? This is the good thing with uh, software developers or programmers or web designers. Most of them, most of the people I know, uh, good sa technology, tamaran. I myself is tamaran. So, and being tamaran is that you will find ways on how to make your job easier. So para sa ko, ah, I have I am supporting I am supporting a company in the US. Uh, ako ang ila ako yung uh, create sa ilang system. They have a team there, but cost wise, ang ilang team ilang empleyado dito is that ang salary ang salary sa ang average salary sa software developers sa US is thirty to thirty five dollars for entry level. Pila mo na per hour. 30 to 35, pila mo ng 30 dollars times 50, 15 per hour. Tapos, times ni mo 8 hours. Napakay computer, electricity, napakay kwan dito. So, ang cost nila sa ilahang software developer dito sa US, so, will more likely cost them um, 5,000 to 6,000 dollars per month. For entry level, na siya, but they can already get a senior level developer for half the price. So see, on sa nilang kwan so tako kaya nilang cost of living ito good. So that is the trend like now. Why why most of the companies in the US are outsourcing? So they are outsourcing. So mingon ka nga, we, that is BPO, a business process outsourcing. They are outsourcing mga employees nila dito sa Gawas to the Philippines or to other countries, India, other countries, because the cost there is very high. So, to cut cost, to cut cost and to have more efficient, so ikaw, di ba, mayin ka nga, tiin man ka, dito ka sa barato nga, barato nga maayo o dito ka sa mahal nga, dili pa ka sa ligan. So, that is one question for them. So, but there are also those who uh, will stick there no? because of the sense of loyalty and uh, nationality. But um, most most get of the companies to cut costs will actually opt to, to transfer to the Philippines. So, and Philippines is their choice because Filipinos are actually hardworking and Filipinos are actually good with communication. This is not the way to but in other countries actually, they have problems understanding, talking to them. But since English is part of our classes and we, we actually conduct class in English, so medyo kasabot na tag English and medyo makasulti na tag English. So that's why uh, Americans and Europeans and other nations opt or choose Filipinos other than other countries. So there is a big market, no? And I hope and I want to see uh, some for you fill those gaps. And an external style sheet. So again, external, you're using outside. So here we'll, we'll be using external style sheet. So we'll be using outside references. So you can attach external style sheets in two ways, linking and importing. So linking, so link, you'll be using a link. So an external style sheet can be linked in to an, to an HTML document using the link tag. So the link tag goes inside the head section as shown here. So head, link, then rel, style sheet, href, meaning that is, that is the um, reference. So muna yung link. So again, please be careful with the link. This is actually to highlight, no? 
na ay nag-submit na og activity ninyo. Ang link sa images, naka-link sa iyang desktop. So, pag-open ako sa iyang activity, so, ako pag-open na ito, naka-link man sa iyang desktop, na ito, see, desktop, ano. So, as what I have said, no, klaro kayo ito sa instruction, nga, you put your reference, you put your images inside the same folder para inog-send nyo sa kuha na added to. So, ang gihimo sa uban, Ang picture na sa desktop, we copy ang link, gibutang nito. So pag open ako, ah, dili mao oh, ang ipang send. Dili mo gana. So that is a problem. So another way of um, linking external style sheet is that you can also use an online HTML. I mean, an online CSS. So here, one example is that this is using HTTPS unpackage.com paper CSS. So I love using paper CSS now. So I will show you this link. So, paper CSS. So, if you open paper CSS, you, you type paper CSS, there is getpapercss.com. Now, there's a lot of CSS now. Eh? So, you will actually type light CSS. So, if you type light CSS, you will have light CSS and you have get paper CSS. So now, if you actually... Yes, Mr. Sikwete. You have something? Jumel Sikwete. Jumel, up mic. Okay, so a special mention at ano para mo kakuan ba so. Now one thing here is that if you actually check this link, there is a link HTTPS unpack main that CSS. So if you actually copy that, this is a CSS file, and If you paste it here, if you open, this is the HTML file. So that I mean, this is the CSS file. So the Aster and design, you can use it. So you can actually start by doing simple CSS. So we will be doing the simple CSS. So now let's go back the the this one. So here. With Algarve, I will create a new file. So new. So the same with the same with creating your HTML. How do you create your external CSS? You just need to right click, new text document, and you will be renaming it to that CSS. So the extension should be that CSS. Again, the extension should be that CSS. Example. My styles dot CSS. So it will become like this. So it's dot CSS already. And you will right click so so that it will be easier. Right click, open edit with notepad plus plus. So it's blank. So now here inside the CSS, so you already have this, no? So you already have this CSS. So, so that we'll be able to understand, we will we will have this. How to create? So this is one one sample. So you can actually create directly. You can copy the styles directly. The same with CSS. How I how I create CSS. So um, this is how this is how I create CSS now in my projects.
So this is how I create them because I'm using Visual Studio. And my CSS are all here. But I'm using SCSS. That's that's uh, another term. But um, So you can actually just directly create your CSS like that. So you have a comment here. So this is to have your comment to name if you're using Bootstrap. But here we will be... We will be um, we will be doing this. So we will copy this body. We will copy everything, and we will paste it here. Now, for style, we will remove the style. So no need to add style here now. So we already have our CSS styles here. So now we will save that. Ato asyang gamiton using this link. So we will create link. Link. Real. So it is style sheet. Now href. Where, where, uh, what is the location of the file? So now the location of the file is here mystyles.css So since we are in the same folder so meaning naratas o sa folder no I don't need to actually have another folder location So I will save it here like this and ako ang lantawon si Al, ang website ni Al Garbe and I will refresh So it's still the same So meaning ang iyang site So if I'll go here while I design but if I will go here, like design, but this site has designed because we are using mystyles.css and mystyles.css is here. Morning mystyles.css. Now, so we just transferred basically our design. And we, if we check, if we check here, and tell mo, mystyles.css, line five ang A. So line five ang A, which is correct. Ang imuhang body, if you select the body, ang um, body has mystyles.css line one. You see, you can actually do it like that. And here we will change, we will be removing P. So refresh. It's P already. Now, the good thing with this, since we already have a design, we will just copy this anymore. I will just copy this. So if we click my place, it will be like this, diba? But if we apply the design, uh, what is this page? My place. My place, edit with notepad. If we add in head, again, it's inside the head. Inside the head, below the title. So we add na po nako. Nantawa siya. Well, I design, but if I refresh this, and I design, diba? isn't that amazing? So here, the uh, P, text, dash, align, justify. So meaning, can you say justify na niyang mga text? Oh, see? A justify na niya yung mga text. Justification. Kabalo na mo justify, di ba? Center align, left align, right align, justify. Kisa pa yung idea dali on saan justify. <laughs> I justify na ito ano na abot mag 40 years. <laughs> so, ano na ang kung ano ano. So, there's an image style here. So, if you can see, it's red. Because this is a class. Uh, will only be applied if added. So now here the, the buttons or the images are actually actually has no designs. So we will apply. We will create another design here that image places. Now image places we will have a width of A width of 30%, a border radius of 
30%. So, this is image places, no? So, under my place, kini ang my place, so where, the, where are the pictures? Manayon. Ah, so this is only one picture. Dito ni doha ka picture. Ah, I see. Gailad tada. Abi na ka picture to. So we'll be using class. And we'll be directly directly copying the class that we created, image places. So we paste it here. So if we refresh this, so it becomes like this. So bati siya, dili siya nindot nga pagka-design. No? So we will actually add um, so we will have div. And we will have um, style. Text align. Center. So na nasa center. Now, we will change the styles into this is 5% and the width to 50%. So if we refresh, see? It's bigger na, di ba? So we have it 80%. So you see, kung saan iyang output, kung saan effect. So that is using link that CSS. Now we will try using what they call this this unpackaged paper main CSS. So here there is my school edited notepad. Now here we will add the unpackaged CSS. So, paper CSS, bootswatch. I'm using bootswatch, boots, bootswatch also. So, I'm kung mga reference because the reason why I have a lot of references is that kung naana kay 50 or sobra ka mga sites ng panghimo, don't tell me na the design of your site one will be the same with your site to site three so you need to have other designs yes makaraya you have a question so let me just check here nawala uh, nung kuno on so Please no, please um, avoid the avoid the unnecessary sound. So I will just copy the link. So we'll copy the link and we will put it here. So we will we are using already this link. So if we save this and we actually go to my place and we go to my school, my school that CSS. Let what is happening? So na usab ng itsura sa my school that CSS. So my school that CSS became like this because it's using paper CSS. Nakita mo? This is the design of paper CSS and it became like this. So now we can also use this my styles that CSS. If we put it here, so you can have multiple styles, no? So if you use that and refresh, so it will become like this. So now if we copy this and put it on top, design will become like that. So there is what they call this. This there is a rule with designing that is actually um, last in, last out. So meaning, kung unsa ang imuhang gibutang dere. Example, there is a design here. 
in this line, a permin that CSS has a design for body. And my styles has a design for body. Kung pinsay pinakalas ni mga gibutang, mga to style nga implement niya. Nagets ni mo? Nagets niyo? So, unsay pinakalas dere nga design sa example, ang my styles that CSS kung naasya sa pinakaubos, i-refresh ni mo na siya ay margin. But if I will put this on top, it will actually implement the style of this. So actually, if na siya mga styles nga the same, iyan ang i-combine. Pero kung unsay parehas niya nga design, example, ang usa wala ay margin, ang usa na ay margin. Kung unsay pinakalas ni mong gibutang, mao na ang iyahang gamiton. So Again, there's a lot of those nga walay idea na no, but that is what will happen. So it will become like this. So as what you can see, is it? It looks better, de ba? Now we will have the CTU that PNG. We will be using the styles for image places. We will be using. Where is CTU PNG? So I will copy this. Okay. Sorry, I don't know. So here we will copy this and we will add styles class. Image style. So when you refresh that, on gawas na yung background, no. But the image style here is that it doesn't go center. Why again? Because we don't have the div again. So again, um, this is. This is to make. Um, this is actually an, an insight, no. If you're adding pictures, you think it. If you have pictures, you put it in a frame. So if your pictures are pictures, or if your image are pictures, your div is your frame. So ang frame mula ng ganang frame, no. So. So now, troubleshooting wise. You will check now on say problema. So, we'll check. Say problema ni text align center. So, the gitcha mo center, no? So na ane siya na ane decide ang solod sa paper min that CSS nga will not center align the image so that is one way of actually troubleshooting and if you're troubleshooting this there is a display block ang div so ang div na i design there is so div box inherit So meaning na ano siya something dere nga na ano siya something dere nga dili niya nagprevent sa iyang alignment. So you can actually have it margin dash f fifty px. So, muna po na yung ginatawag ng mga ninja moves sa designing. So, if you want to, if you are really desperate to have it move to center, you can actually have it like that. So, and after that, since when you, resize, when you resize the screen, it will actually go with another position. That is when you apply media query. 
but let us not focus with that for now. So we go back with my school. Now, my place, my school. So as what you can see here, we have used different designs already. We have used inline, we have used embedded, and we have used external. So the easiest way to handle the problem with external, no, uh, the, the problem with external and using these, these online nga mga links is that you don't have overall access to that. So meaning dili na mo ma edit ilaha mo nang design. So you cannot basically use that. You can download so long as it's free. Pwede ni mo na magamit. So example, get paper CSS. Download CSS file. So then I paper CSS no show in folder. Desktop. Um, where is it na ba? HTML foundation, outputs, day one, aga algarbi. So we have paper.css. So now we have downloaded it already. If we actually check it here, how do we use downloaded? So ito ang gamit on there. So paper.css. So, nindot na, ganahan na kayo kung kwan, nga mag-download ang mga CSS. So, why is paper CSS not working? So, meaning, hindi na ako sa kiputang. Sa lang alfitsi, sir. Alfitsi. Ah, alfitsi na ako sa kiputang? Yes, sir. Ano na alfit si Dayang? Anong algarbe may? Okay, so gibutang na ko siya. So, good thing, no? Uh, thank you nga nakita din mo. Pag-refresh na ko niya. See? Di ba? You can still use. So now, we have already covered linking externals. Now, there is another way which is importing. This one I don't use. So this is very complicated. I suggest you don't use this as well, but you can explore. So, but for the sake of uh, this is actually style import. So you import, you are actually you're actually combining. So it's an embedded. You actually import your CSS and you add your you add your kwan. So meaning you import your CSS, you add style to what you have imported. So meaning you are actually overriding things there. Nag-import na ka, nagdugang pag-style. So on sa may corona, it's actually dubli ang trabaho. Which again, we want to focus on, sub on something to optimize. Hello? Sana all. So now note. So this is a note, no. All import rules must occur at the start of the style sheet. So one of the reasons why this is not being used or it is used randomly is that or seldom is that the, when you use import rule, there are a series of rules that you need to follow. Any stool stool style rule defined in the style sheet itself override conflicting rule. So if the imported style sheets, the Im that import rule may cause performance issues. So again, as much as possible, we are designing our website to be fast and reliable. So if we have conflicting style sheets, it affects your site's performance. So we have practiced during our training, but Important tips for writing better CSS. Dry. So I want you to focus on this. No, this is actually very important. So it's it's important to learn how to write CSS. But the most important is when you when you already know how to write, how to write better. 
DRY. So DRY stands for Don't Repeat Yourself. This is a general software development practice or principle and can apply it in programming. So in any programming language, don't repeat yourself. Ikagbalik-balik sa may ganahan na ng sigik-balik-balik. Kasi ganahan ninyo yung sigik-balik-balik. Example, ang inyong silingan. Example, ah... Uh, Example na ng utang mo. Ang iutangan ninyo, sige, balik-balik sa inyo ang balay. Ganahan mo? So, so wala yung ganahan ng gig balik-balik. So, don't repeat. Your, also, don't the don't repeat yourself. Focus on ayaw balik-balik ka ang imong gigamit na. So, as much as possible, to be efficient, you actually, di ba nakakita mo gayon na? H1, H2, H3, H4. Uh, H1, H2, H3, P use text align center. So instead nga H1 text align, H2 text align, you actually put it one text align for those targets or for those nga mga tags nga kinahanglan text align o sara ka text align. So as we can understand from its name, dry aims to avoid or reduce repetition as much as possible. For example, we can create three CSS classes for three buttons like this. So, na mga buttons, no? Now, ang ato ang target web page is that we are not adding buttons because we don't have functions pa, nga clickable objects. We have links, we have anchor tags. But in the future, if you are designing, mas daghan pag yung mga tags ng inyong main counter. But again, bisag daghan pag tags ng inyong main counter, the thing is, the design will 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 be the same. Kung unsay logic sa designing mo, kaya po na siya. So text align, adding color, adding objects. So there might be slight differences, but it's all it's always almost the same. So now, as what you can see, na siya ay primary button, na siya ay form button, na siya ay cancel button. Nagbalik balik siya sa iyang background. Blue, green, red, which is different. Pero parehas siya nga ang radius 5%, padding 1020, ang text align center, ang font style 16. So since parehas sila ang properties nga tulo, nag-create og dot button. Ang dot button nga class, ang yang, para ang purpose aning dot button, no? para dili siya, para dili siya mo apply sa, paghihimo na mo siya button na siya, wala siya dot tanan nga button tags iya nang iyang butangan og design but since but since we want it particular to those three only we have that button para we can use the class button so now the button has a color of white why so that you have a base color of white and the base color of white now one this is actually white color sorry for that it, it uses white because they're using white color so getting white ni siya no mo siya ang text color ang text color sa button is using white now they have separate classes na ito ka classes primary button form button or cancel button so nga nung niyong kang daghan lagi ang button sir nga nung mas ning Efficient man siya. Di ba? Mas gagmay na lang ang uban. So you actually, uh, there is one favorite quote nga ganahan ako sa ako ang amo. May nguna siya dahil nga. It's always to eat cannons now than to face. I mean, it's always to eat cannons now uh, to eat cannons now than to eat cannons and um, tingnan niya. Cannons and bullets later. So, mas maayo daw nga kanon mo ang kanons ang mga dagko na karon kaysa inoga human magdunga na tanan ba? So, ang mga dagko nga mga design, ibutang ni mo siya, isimpo ni mo siya, so that other designs will be lesser na lang and it will be better. Because, example, you will change the size of the button, sa osa na lang ka mag -ilis. If you will change the color of the text, so saan lang ka mag -ilis? You will not change four. Now, 
So it's 9.51 already, no? Okay lang mo ma-extend, Tagamay. Pwede ra, sir. So, naming. So, naming CSS selectors is another important point for writing better CSS. The name of a selector should be self-descriptive and readable. So, as what you have seen, how I named my, how I named my classes, how I named my classes, no, na I, na ay ka ng image style. Mas ayun na ba pagbasa ba? So, ingon sila. Ang bad naming ko, no? That P, that my first form. So, meaning, you write something, it's easier to understand. Article, paragraph, contact form. So, akong ibotang dari image style. So, meaning, para ni siya sa style sa image, image places, sa places na po ni siya. So, something na you can understand ba if you're using classes. So limit the use limit the use uh, the use of inline styles. So Nani there is a debate no. So there there is an argument should we eliminate inline styles or should we just limit the use of it? Kung ako pangutanon limit lang because there are times no na instead of na kay button para ra na nga button you want to have a design on that button alone. Why do you need to have a CSS written for that nga? Gamay ramang kay kayong pag margin uh, with uh, margin write 5px. Anong kinahanglan pa ka mag-write o CSS ana nga para ramang particular for that specific nga design. So, instead of removing everything the inline styles, limit the use of inline styles. In my opinion, the best practice is actually to limit the use of inline styles. Again, this is my opinion. So, if you have better ways to uh, approach designing, then I will be more than happy to hear that. Avoid the important tag. So, what is important tag? So, example, if you have example, if you have a design here. So, there is a border color yellow. I will have a border color email, a border color. So border dash color red. So now, inyo ang makita ng is that since there is border color red and there is border color yellow, ang yellow is na grayed out because it's using border color red. But how about we put we put important after the yellow. So see, diba? if we use exclamation important, regardless of the position, iahaning basaho ng important. Dili na niya basaho ng red. Now, the, the question is, what if silang duha pwede ang silang duha ang important? Pwede ba na duha ka book imong important? Si Mungutana ta dali ba? Alex, Vincent, isa ni? Ah, si Alex, Vincent, Hiri di, isa ni? Hiri di yan. Oh, na si Alex, Vincent. <laughs> Ah, si Abataya na lang. Kaya kami hindi Abataya. Kyle, Justin. This is just opinion, no? They, there's no right or wrong. Or any, any one, anyone uh, who can volunteer. Anyone? No, like in a volunteer na, no? <laughs> So, it, what will happen if we have two important? So, important. So, what will happen is that it will have the rule last, last out, last in. I mean, last, I mean, last out, uh, last in, last out. So, meaning, what, whatever, whatever style that has been added last, 
mono yung gamiton. So, if we have important, the style is actually added here first. So, meaning, una na siyang nisod. So, ang pinakalast nga nisod, mono yung important. So, if we actually remove the important here, so, if we remove the important, we will just put the red. Makancel na siya because it will be using the yellow as important. Gets? Now, so again, uh, it's saying that uh, you need to avoid using important tag. But again, that's just a suggestion because the thing is, if you already kung kabalo na yung na memorize na niyo ng last in, last out, wala na na problema ang important. Pero kung daghan na kayo saksak, sinagol na yung mga CSS, important will be important. The, under, the exclamation important will be important already. Use shorthands. Some of the CSS properties like paddings, margins, fonts, and borders can be written as much as simpler way. So, shorthands. So, example, ang padding, ang margin, ang border, na na siya ginatawag na top, top, Bottom, left, right. So, yung mora nang i-separate of space. Pwede na nang i-suat nga 10px, 15px, 20px, 15px. Instead nga, mag-usa-usa ka suat. And add comments when necessary. So, normally, quality code doesn't need comments because it should be already very clear and um, self-descriptive. But still, in some cases, we may need to write additional explanation. So, Again, if you're working with a team, kung ikaw rin nag-design sa mga galingon, no problem. But if you're working with a team, just like what I do, comments is important because you will understand, oh, this is the purpose of this and that. How do you write comments? So writing comments is actually having... Um, This is not how you write comment, no? But this is actually Visual Studio sample. So backslash, you can actually write comment. So, I mean, yes, this is how you write comment. Double forward slash and your comment. So you're commenting something. What is this class all about? So now the last part, we're already approaching the end of the line for CSS. So CSS actually is old school. CSS3 is okay, but um, a CSS is still widely used, no? but there is already a new approach on how to write CSS. So that is SCSS. So it's just an improvement of CSS. So syn syntactically awesome style sheets, still awesome. And the superset of CSS, so SCSS is more advanced version of CSS. So still the same thing. The only thing is that it's able to write better CSS. And the extension of SCSS is that SCSS. So CSS is that CSS, SCSS is that SCSS. But still, when you're applying the design, you are just designing in SCSS. But after ni mahimo na siya, delete na siya mabasa sa imuhang, imuhang page, it will be using um, the CSS output. So nagya po na yung CSS ng output. No? So CSS is still important, but writing the design right now sa SCSS na niya. So delete na mo libugo na ni para di mo malibog. So just an example, I have a project. No? So this is a project that I am creating. So tako ka nga project so ako ra nang i-design kay sige maka i-close ba sige maka idea mo unsa na ba kay kanang okay so close na nako so now this is visual studio i will add no because i am a programmer software developer i i do it in visual studio i will add a new item and the new item that I will add is an SCSS. So here, style sheet. So I will name it as my 
this is just this is just to show how it's written para ni mo ma aswang ba my style so when you add this is your my style dot scss so if you actually check it's my style dot scss but if you can see i'm still writing in css because it's easier here, the, the new approach, my other projects is already written in that SCSS, especially if it's MVC or MVVM, I write it in SCSS. Now I have here example here, we have written this um, copy. So we'll just paste it like that. So meaning if we save this, so the magic goes here. So after saving this, we cannot use the SCSS. We cannot reference the SCSS. However, we right click this web compiler compile. Once compiling, it will create CSS, mystyle.css. So this is mystyle.css. This is generated. So, and you can actually have programming na no, sa CSS na mga if else, you can actually add like that. And this is mystyle.min. So, ang um, what is that mean compared to the CSS? Minified is meaning one line only. So now I will be I will be removing what I have added para kay basig basig ma add to na ko in town si bako my style my style. I see. Voila. Good thing. Delete. So hopefully, no, I will have someone who is interested to learn web programming and I will be more than happy to teach you good. So this is using web programming na and muna ang ako ang source of income. So mga ginaga buhi sa kong pamilya ang programming. Now, SCSS contains all the features of CSS. And contains more features. More na siya. Maparasa na silang duha. Kaling kay mas daghan na mahimo sa SCSS. So if you want to explore, if you want to learn more about SCSS, you can just explore. But again, this is just a glimpse. No? So the, our topic is about CSS. I'm just telling you that there is something new. And if you have questions about SCSS, I will not answer it here. Patili ma, I will not answer it here. You can send me a message if you want. Question and answer about CSS. Any questions? Mga pangutana. Wala na sir, wala. Ang uban ay pangutan na ang uban. Wala sa akin na. Hmm. So, may kung wala so. Nakasarap mo na sabtan? Sir. Sir. Ah. If i post ni imong video up there ni sir. Oh, i post na ko sa akong channel. Para okay, mawawa mo ng signal sir niya. Delete ka kuantan nan sir basta ko an. I-post na ko sa akong channel para napoy views sa akong channel. Sige, sir. Atto niya ito na ako, sir. Subscribe lang niya ako. Subscribe. Karoon sana. Naglibo ko na yung kuhan. Okay, so. Shorten your L. Copy na ko, no? So, isend na ko. Hindi na ko isend nyo sa chat ninyo. So, so mo ni ang ato ang kuan ka ng sir ato ang attendance ron so I will be posting that sa classroom po now nakita mo sa ang gisen gichat na ko sir kita ra sir 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 kita sir arm okay so ang videos na to na adra no so na tong videos tara kung gisen ng kwan so actually nag share ko share na ko ha so so
So morning ko na dire ang video. So nang video dire ang foundation of web design sa day one. Then after ani upload na on day two. So makita niyo dire tanan. So uh, subscribe nung yapon mo. <laughs> Daya actually ang purpose ani hmm. ang ang purpose ani nagibutan ako sa YouTube God. So ang pinaka purpose yun ani is that para na ako storage ba? Kaya kung ang video ko save na ako sa ako ang kuan ako ang computer mahurot ako ang size sa computer niya ano ba yung kuan nata ultimo nata so mas maayong nasa cloud and para mas taghan ang makawatch ba makareview so for your activity so for your activity so mio sa tanaw kay para makadiskus ko sa activity niyo himo ano niyo so for your activity Um, you you will need to apply. So na create na mo sa activity one nyo na. So dilit mo makahimo sa yung activity two kung wala mo yung activity one. So activity two nyo is that you use inline. So inyo ang about me katong inyo ang about me yung mga page. You create styles. You use inline or embedded style to improve this page. Then for the rest of the page, you use external style by linking the CSS file for the web pages. So you can also create a CSS file. Yung dito niyo i-attach ang inyong mga designs na embed niyo siya. So again, isuwat niyo ang inyong web pages na ka folder. I-zip niyo pangalanan niyo activity activity last name file name niya. I-send niyo as zip or rar para dalik lang ako pag check. So, i-send ninyo sa zip or sa rar para mas dali ako pag-check pa. Sa balo na mo mo zip file? Yes, sir. Okay. So, at least ka balo na mo ba? Kay... Anong lisod mong kay God? Bakit on tamo ha? On sa, on sa kalisod mag-check ha kung kuan ka ng... Sir, basig na ayaw ba nili ka kuan ka balo mo ba to zip file? Ah, sige. O, to doon tamo. So, Example, ang saan pagiging mag-zip file. Example, na may folder, Algarbia na. I-right click lang ninyo na. Ito yun. Ito yun naman ito. Gara de ay. Add to archive. Archive. Add to archive. So, add to archive. Ito yun. Algarbia m.rar. So, muna ni. Muna yun yung isend. So, pag open ninyo, naanatanan ninyo. Naanatanan nila. Algarbia. So, right click ka. Add to archive. Right click, add to archive. Tayon mo ni Shai, mo ni Shai isend na ko. Kaya para dalit na ako pag check ha. Na sabtan ra? Sir. Okay sir. Pakit on tamo ha para at least namo yung idea ba? Okay sir. Namo yung idea ba kung unsa ka unsa ka lisod ba ako an kay? Mom ko ni God ka nang ang ako mo God ang ako mo God magcheck ko sa inyong output wala ko ga kuan wala ko ga example na imo send ana example si kini si Albayhana Saon man ina to ha View submission di naman tong view submission Dili lagi ana ah, rao So, mamang ko niyo, kini yung lang tawa. Nag-create siya HTML. Pero, ano yung mga example na, ako ang mga good anay good is, ako ang i-download para pag-download na ko, Coronel Abe, pag-open ako sa About Me, ano, mamang yung makita na ko, may place, o sa usahan mo, kung ako nag-check. Kung in-on nyo pag-send HTML ang file, HTML, kung sa may akong ma-check, ano, wala ginawin mo ako na, ano, ano, wala ko yung mahimo ba. So, muna kong hangyo is i-send lang ninyo yung attachment ka ng ngarar para ma-download na ako dali. Kaya kini, downloadan mo ko na ako ng usa-usa niya. Example, daghan ba kayo muna mo sa Chinta Kapin na usa-usa kong tamog download. So, challenging kayo. So, again, there is a classroom na ay HTML style, cheat styles na ako kibutang dara. Kini, ang cheat no cheating is not good sa klase pero cheat styles mo na kung ibutang dere kay cheat manang gamit good sa industry so cheat meaning cap 
copying of something well, pero not, you're not cheating you're just copying someone else's design so this is cheat sheets so kung nakasuhay mo call center tagaan mo cheat sheets ana mo na inyo ang kumbaga pag na may problema dito mo mo refer so pwede niyo na i-click o link na ay more lessons to this to actually explore example unsa no pag create og button nga uh, unsa no ko radius ana padak ana ko unsa no ko padding padak ana kong button ang size pagamian ako ang radius ana so mo na ang imuhang kuan ang imuhang mo na imuhang design kopyahon nimo butang lang mo sa CSS magamit na nimo na dali mong button so this is cheat sheet so pwede mo mag-explore you know this is actually one good way to learn and understand designing kay dili man gyud kaya nga ma-cover ma ni tanan but i am giving you uh, i am giving you resources nga mas mapadali ninyo nga you can explore more actually even professionals use this so nana beginners cheat sheet so you can actually use that and So, note, be creative, be creative, then be creative with your design. So, a deadline of the design. So, this is be creative with your design. So, ang deadline sa design. So, ang deadline sa design will be, will be um, May 21, 5 p.m. So, please submit on or before para kuan so but the first activity i will still accept uh, kay na may wala ka kuan na to but for the succeeding activities please do it on time kay para matikan pa nako on time ba so now isa pa na ay pangutana ninyo wala na yung mga pangutana tanan magadawa na tanan sir wala pa nagadawa tanan sa first activity. Pwede pa ma-resubmit sir, mo i-save sir. Oh, pwede, mas maayo yun. Mas maayo pa. Eh, i-submit na lang katong wala pa nagaduhan. Open pa ang putong. Sir. Ah. Yeah. Bakit pong atana sir ba? Oh. Bakit sa ato pong atong second activity ba? Oh. Kanang, 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 kanang Japanese, kanang, kanang susawa ganun na, kanang, Oh, ang first sa first ang first activity o second activity para sa output pero ang nakalain sa second activity is that second activity mag-apply na mag design ang yung first activity raw rato wala design yun ay second activity gidesign na ninyo pero maora gya po yung isend including the design na pero kung magcreate yung pang big mga mga picture na sir oh design nagya po yung picture kanang Ngayon, hindi ko kakawag mga picture, sir, ba? So, kapag picture ako, sir. Naglibog ko. Ay, kuwan na, sir. Ang kuwan, sir. Itong kuwan, sir, ba? Itong, itong, kanang activity, sir, ba? Hindi ba mukha mag-activity? Tapos mag-create pag-design? For, for katong, katong picture, di, 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 kanang, di, di, kanang create mo po sa katong, 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 katong application, sir, ba? Hmm. Ito yung ano po eh. Katong, katong application po, di, di, di insert na po, pero di siya mo, 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 Ay, dili, dili, dili ni mo i-insert sa, i-insert ni mo sa Notepad++, ang link ra may kwao ni mo. Ang link ra dahi, sir? Oo. Oh. Lantawa to ang video ba na to ba pag first di ba kay Lantawa tong video na to pag first kay narito link ra kinahanglan na, na to link ra oh, Thank you sir thank you sir Link ra kopyahan mo ang link sa kuan pero ang ako ang ingon ganin ninyo is that ako ang ingon ninyo is that ang inyong mga pictures iusa ninyo example na direta na ng pictures o coronel na ta ng pictures kay ano para mas dali ba example si uh, kini na mahitabo ninyo i-send ninyo na inyong CSS si diri so na atanan 
dili na mo mag daghan pa inyong pamutang. So nasa usa ka folder. So other question, so our resources, monetong resources, I I get the some of the ideas there, free code camp, cheat, cheat sheets and W3 schools tutorial points. So if you don't have questions anymore, uh the end for the end for today's session. So you can watch a, a recording of our sessions in YouTube. So please subscribe. So my page is Bisayang Programmer. So I just post anything there. Na po koy classes sa programming no. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, matagano chance. Basi de basi kaloy antang Sir Marshall ane or sa aga pa tulo ang tag part time programming so malip malipay yun dano so na wala na yung pangutan na. Pahabol sir. Na yung pahabol sir. Hmm. Kung ano nang katung first activity sir ba na human mi ato mga sayo sayo nya tumlitan sir wala na mo na zip nya among zip karon late na na sir. Wala late ang first activity. Ah, sige. Wala late ang first activity kay gi-consider nako kay napoy uban nga ning apas no. So ang katong mga taga main nga ning apas pwede pa mo makasubmit. Wala late first activity. So again, if uh, that's thank all for you, today sir. if you have questions, ano no. So again, thank you very much no for today's attendance. So Sir Marshall, thank you very much. Do you have anything else sir? Ah uh, yes, sir Kim. Ah uh, wait, sir. Yes, sir. Ako lang gi pa nayon ang pika so actually duha ka Zoom ako ang gi open ron kay inapog kay webinar sa MIS sir Kim. Ah sir. Okay, put, uh, para sa enrollment this coming December. Okay uh -huh. sa ako. Okay, uh, since uh, wala raman ko i-compute mga comment. So how, how about sa uban? Wala raman siguro, no? So uh, guys, ang tanan mga activity uh, na nag-send ni Sir Kim sa ito ang Google Classroom. So feel free na lang to open sa ito ang Google Classroom para at least makita ninyo mga activity. Yeah, you perform na lang po kay ang um, basihan sa tuang certificate ang katong nakapas yun sa output sa every meeting. So may na lang at least na tayo mapuno sa tuang resume yeah, with certificate yun. Di ba Sir Kim? Yes sir. Okay so uh, Sir, sir. Excuse me sir. Yes. Lolo sir, kana ang katuba mo activity sir niya na among nasindan ato sir kay kuan man among na pa registered ato kay katumang among Gmail nga daan di man ang CTO niya di man mi kasud i e, pag pwede naman sila mo log in sir no niya gamit ang CTO no i mail mm, federal sir oh ilag ila mo gusab niya gamit ang CTO na email CTO niya ang atong first activity sir dili to makuan masud ra gyapon to I said, masin, magyapon. Uh, at ito, magyapon ni Kwan dito. Oo. Uh, kay wa mami ka Kwan, sige mig sir, hindi man, maawa mong nakuha na na eh. Ang Gmail man na mo nga, katong, daan mo, lain nga Gmail, di man, ang CTU nga Gmail. Uh, so, ikaw na, i-change na lang, uh, pag-register mo balik niya, using your CTU email, at the uh, email ad. Sige, thank you sir. Okay. Wala na ilang pang pangatana. So sa next meeting another uh, next Saturday another report nga webinar uh, to help uh, to kan Japan uh, speaker Japan ato si Sir Kim ng Japan antud mo human jud ang atong training so i hope uh, natay nakatunan since first meeting and also the second meeting so dili ta ni uh, ikana nga wala lang at least natay extra and then knowledge no? and skills. Okay, before that, uh, before tamo end, uh, please open your camera for attendance. And also the documentation for.
Ikuha sa kuno Sir Kim. Uh, stop sharing ba para makita ko tanan. Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, smile, pinaka best smile. Okay, so that's all for this morning. Wala na tayong bubble and kwabo day uh, oh. Ah uh, Ma'am Ma'am Flores dai uh, na na mo to kita ko ni video to Ma'am. Pati na kay Ah uh, uh, wala na sir mag remind lang ko sa City Yunaga fourth year nga dili jud sila mo absent and do their activities religiously. Okay Ma'am. Okay Ma'am. Okay Ma'am. Okay, ma Okay, so that's all. I will end the session in five, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.